Hello, and welcome to my second episode of my Halloween special. Today, I will be telling two stories from two of you. I chose to read these two stories as they somewhat resemble each other. The comparisons are wrapped in demonic energy. What do you think it could be? What does it mean? What were their reasons for their visits? Let me know what you think. Also, if you have any paranormal stories you would like to share, my Instagram will be linked in the description below. I now have a new account linked to my main account for all my creative and YouTube projects. Also, if you want to watch the first episode, I shall also leave a link for that video in the description. Now sit back, relax, if you can, and enjoy. When I was about 11 years old, I woke up one night because I had to go to the bathroom. I was always a little hesitant to go because the bathroom was located in the middle of a long hallway and my bedroom was connected to one end of it. The other end led to complete darkness. I got up and walked, made my way to the bathroom, but I felt a little weird I figured it was just my heightened sense of awareness. When I was done, I started heading back to my room when I felt something was watching me. I turned around to see two glowing red eyes peering from the darkness at the other end of the hallway. I froze in fear as a figure made its way into the faint glow of light coming through a window. The snarling face of a dog slowly crept into view, growling at me. I managed to unfreeze myself and make a run for my bedroom, closing the door behind me and hiding under my covers. Terrified, I kept telling myself, it had to be in my imagination, it had to be. And I think I convinced myself, because I finally fell asleep. The next day, I had school, and at that age, I was in a ghost and aliens phase. We went to the library once a week, and I, of course, looked for a book on ghosts. I read it, and at the very end, it had a list of different types of ghosts. One of those was the exact description of what I had seen the night before. A demon dog. I remember I literally froze in shock at the revelation that there was no way it was my imagination now. It couldn't have been a coincidence. I told my friend I was with but he didn't believe me. So I never really told anybody about it ever again. But it was definitely a crazy and memorable event that stuck with me to this day. I'm only doing two stories today because this second story is a little on the longer side. So let's begin.
When I was very young, young enough to sleep in a crib, I used to stay at my aunt and uncle's where my dad worked away and my mum worked nights. It's probably my earliest memory and it's a horrible one. I remember being put to bed and just laying there. It was dark but light enough to see the walls and ceiling. Above my crib was a loft square like the little entrance you need a ladder to get to. I remember just looking up and around the room and eventually falling asleep. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but when I woke up, the loft hatch was no longer there. I remember just staring into the darkness of the loft. It could have only been a split second, but what I saw still terrifies me now. As I looked up, a face lowered itself out of the square. But it wasn't a normal face. The only way I can describe it is like a traditional Chinese dragon mask, or maybe an oriental demon mask of sorts. It had black, red and yellow skin. It was stripy and had patterns on it. Big, red and angry eyes. Long pointed teeth. It had curled horns, I think, or maybe spines. I don't know, but it loomed out of the darkness and smirked slash grimaced at me, then growled a deep, croaky voice. I remember screaming and crying for again what felt like a split second until my aunt came in and calmed me down. Six or seven years later, I kind of pushed it out of my mind, I guess, because I never really thought about it, until one night, my niece, we were the same age, came and stayed for a few days. We slept in the same bed because we felt spooked out that night. At some point, we fell asleep. My old bedroom had a window above my bedroom door and my parents always left the hallway light on, so my room was always pretty light. Anyway, I woke up at some point in the night and opened my eyes. I should have seen my niece's face or hair, but instead, I saw that same face, the demonic dragon face I had seen before in place of where hers should be. It didn't do anything but stare and smile creepily its teeth still showing like a grimace again. I scrunched my face up and covered my eyes. When I plucked up the courage to open them, it was gone, just my niece's face. Obviously, I went and slept in my mum and dad's room after that. It really freaked me out. So I told my mum, who is really spiritual anyway, but she just said I was probably still half asleep and half dreamt it. I believed her because, being my mum, I believed everything she told me. I trusted her. Then, when I was 17, I was staying at my then best friend's house. We were doing what teens do, just chilling. We were super close, so we used to sleep in the same bed together. When I woke up this one particular morning, he wasn't in the bed, kind of strange, as it was dead silent, like nobody was in the bathroom or anything. So I got up and rolled myself a cigarette. He must have heard me rummaging around because he came in from the spare room. When I asked him where he went, he was a little hesitant, but basically said, I don't think I can sleep in the same room as you again. Me, freaking out as I'm a really cuddly sleeper and didn't know if I had spooned him or something was like, okay, why? His reply was not what I wanted to hear. I woke up in the middle of the night and you were facing me, except it wasn't your face. You sat up and stared at me and then turned around and laid back down. He wouldn't tell me what I looked like 
He said it was too scary. But I'm convinced to this day that it was the same face I had seen before. So years down the line, I began hearing and seeing lots of things. Both my mum and Nan are and were very spiritual, so I feel it might be inherited. The house where I first saw the face was now well known for being extremely haunted and not pleasantly either. As a kid, I was super close with my cousin who lived there. We are more like brothers. During one of our phone calls, the conversation subject went on to ghostly stuff and the like. I hadn't really told anyone before about the face, and when I told him, he went silent. A bit confused, as we are both open to spirits and stuff, I asked if he was still there. Finally, he said, Are you being deadly serious? When I reassured him that it actually happened, he continued with, When I was young, maybe four or five, I was sat in my mum and dad's room at night, watching TV. My mum and dad weren't in the room with me, but I looked out the smaller of the two windows, and on the other side of the glass was exactly what you just described. I've never even told anyone that. So I know that happened to you, because I saw the same thing. It was possibly the scariest thing I've ever seen. When he said that, it sent chills right through me. Up until that point, there was a little doubt in my mind that I had maybe been exaggerating, or just getting carried away. But now, I had confirmation. What I saw was real, and it had followed me for at least 15 or 16 years. Whether it still follows me or not, I have no idea, and I don't want to find out. So, what do you think these entities were? Why the red demon eyes? Why the smiles? Why the growling? And why were they haunting these people? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Also, again, if you have any stories, please see my Instagram link in the description and DM me. If you missed the first video, again, that will also be linked in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this look today too. Thank you. Good night or good day. See you next time.